So, I'm wearing a special shirt today. It says, Get Lost. And that's what today uh, stands for. Today stands for everybody that doesn't want to watch this video or whatever can just get lost. Because I'm going to tell you a quick story about something that just happened. Um, but let me get set up here. I've been waiting like five months to wear this shirt. My buddy Tyler, one of my best friends I've grown up with since kindergarten, he bought this for me. He's a truck driver. He found it in uh, the States, so he bought it for me. He says, get lost. So it's most, supposed to mean get lost in the mountains, but it's like, for me, it's like just everybody can just get lost. It's a bright blue summertime shirt, and I'm wearing it today. So what just happened, I was picking up these succulents, like little plants. We got a thing called Vrad Sales. It's like a sec it's like a thrift store. People can sell things out of their house. I paid like 10 bucks for three little pots of these succulents. I picked them up in this wealthy community in my town. And this guy started tailgating me. And even through a school zone when there's a bunch of kids running around, he was tailgating me and I was doing the speed limit. And I kind of, once we get out of the school, school zone, get out of the school zone, like he was like this far from my bumper. I kind of hit my brakes just to let him know that he's tailgating me. All of a sudden the guy, the guy gives me the finger. I give him the finger and I start yelling and screaming at him. And he starts pulling out his phone recording me when he was the one tailgating. So it's just, that's the way the times have come, you know, like, so I pulled out my phone, started recording him. Then I stopped in the middle of the street. Actually, I don't know if I was filming when I did that. But um, the old Jordy, I would have got out of my freaking car, and I'm sure a lot of you could relate. I'm not trying to be negative here, everybody. But the old Jordy, I would have got out of my car, gone to that guy's window. Even if he rolled up his window, I probably would have tried to punch out his window, grabbed his phone, and started smashing, with, smashing him with it. Or grab his phone and whip it into a somewhere where he'll never be able to find it but anyways that's the story of get lost today so you guys can see the white car in the mirror behind me this guy's tailgating me and i gave him the finger and he pulled out his camera like uh look at him i'm gonna fucking beat his fucking head in pull over yeah there he's, he's pulling out his camera like he's filming me. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in. Look. Like he's zooming me like I'm a bad person when he's the one tailgating me. Through a, I was going the speed in a school zone and fucking, anyways. So I got these logs yesterday. I got a car of an owl. But like the guy freaking filming me when he was the one tailgating me. It's like buddy, like, and then he pulled into a store like, he was still right behind me. Then he pulled into a store, it's a 7-Eleven store, and I could have just looped back and went right to that store and just, but no, no, there's no need for that. Like, I got, I got too much, uh, I'm too happy with my life, and I w don't want to go down that road again. Okay, so, who knows, maybe the guy's a ninja. Maybe he would have kicked my ass. You don't know. You don't know these, these times and days. You know, maybe he had a pack and a gun. Anyways. I got to carve an owl and I got to carve a wood spirit. This cedar's a little bit damp. I'm going to at least do the block. Can you guys see these logs in this video? Yeah, I got to, I'm going to at least block it out. First of all, I got to cut this bottom because I'm going to flip this log over, cut this bottom straight. Got to sharpen my saw. Got to do a bunch of shit here. This is Jordy Does today. It's Jordy Does. I just carved Rob. I Amy. So. Owl, wood spirit. You know, it is a shame because they're be cutting down this big tree and it gives, like you see right there, the sun's up there. So I don't get sun here till about two in the afternoon. I slept in today. Um, so it's like probably like 1130 in the morning right now. But uh, once they cut down this big old cottonwood tree, no more shade for Jordy. So I'm going to start out here carving out here, but then I might go inside later and get a shade i might buy one of those pop-up tents i could put out here so because it's nice to carve when you get the breeze and stuff too right so anyways i'm gonna show i'm gonna start off running my gas 170 with the 16 inch cannon bar on there 
Then I'll probably start using um, my, I got my battery saws here, but we'll see how it goes. Good enough. Okay, so this is, uh, I showed in the yesterday's video when I was getting this wood. It's pretty wide grain, but it's okay. It feels damp. I know this uh, water wood here, is, the sap wood's really wet. I can feel it. But, um, oh yeah, where was that crack going in the top? Oh no, we're in the bottom here. So now where do I want to carve the owl? I look to see if I can see cracks up here. In the center, uh, what's it called, the heart? But this is freshly cut, so I don't really see any cracks. So I don't know where it's gonna split. But um, I'm gonna get this uh, I'm gonna get this one on that, um, my thing thing there. Actually, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put on my chaps, because well, they should wear your chaps. Yeah, I'm gonna get this up on my uh, engine, little engine jack hoist thing there. Piece of shit. Okay, so you know what they say, if you got the tools, use them. So, I still can't get over, but I can't still can't get over Buddy filming me. It's like, bunch of cowards in this world, that's for sure. Okay, now. This is a hydraulic lift thing I bought at, uh, Canadian Tire, I think it was like 300 bucks. So where do I want the thing thing? I can't see any cracks there. So let's, um, I think it would have less chance cracking where these knots are, where the branches would come out. Because I know we got a clear side spot on this side, but let's see here. So his head will be over here. This, this will be, yeah, so let's just do it the way it is. Like this is the owl. Okay, so I like to screw it down. I got my screw gun here. And I got the board overhanging so I can go all the way around the piece. I'll show you in a minute. Like, so I got one board screwed here and then another board screwed. Anyways. Something just shit on me. So here's just some uh, deck screws. And so I got this board, so I just go up and under. Screw it down. Okay, good, so that's good. Now we can lower it. This one lowers kind of slow sometimes. I like to try and keep when I can, you know, when I'm doing smaller carvings like this, 
I like to keep the chainsaw below my neck level in case that something happens, right? I'd much rather have it cut here, knock on wood, cut here and here than cut here or here or the hole in my head. So, this isn't going to be a crazy freaking owl thing. It's just going to be a silly little owl with them. Um, so his head will be up here, or her head will be up here, or its head up will be up here. And then we'll do a, the wing here so it's looking over its wing. Um, do I got a pen? Stand by. You know what, so actually what's the rush? Not in any rush. I wish I showed up here earlier today though, so this could be in the shade all the time, but sun's gonna be popping out here in about another hour. I'll, I'll carve in the sun for a bit, but have a sip of coffee first. I don't drink a lot of coffee during the day. I basically just kind of um, like first thing in the morning, I'll sit at my my little table in my living room, dining room thing, and I'll have a cup of coffee, kind of pound that back, say hi to Jess Carve Rob and all my other friends, and chat with them figure out what I'm gonna do then I but today I mixed up then I go to usually go to Tim Hortons buy a cup of coffee thanks for all the coffees you bought me Robin Robin's on uh, Salt Spring Island and she's sent me some gift cards over for Tim Hortons and um, but today I made my own coffee so if this woods too wet all I'm gonna do is block it out today Stand by, I gotta take a bathroom break. Yeah, so anyways, if this wood's too wet, I'm just gonna block it out and do some rough cuts and then I can come back in a couple days, let it dry out. It'll be easier to use the die grinders and stuff like that, but I don't, I, it doesn't feel that bad. Um, I did say on my beachcombing video yesterday, in the video where I got these from, I said that I was gonna go get that log on the beach, but I said, man, that's a friggin', cause it's a nice old cedar log. But I was like, man, that's not going to be a lot of work to go to the beach, walk down to the log with my chain. It's not at the part where I can just pull up my car and load, cut it and load it up. I have to walk it. Cut, take, walk down there with my chainsaw. Five minute walk. Cut it. Carry it up the rocks. Put it at the side of the road. Walk back. Get my car loop around. And you know what? I had no gas in my saw. So my saw wasn't sharp. It's still not that sharp. The chain's pretty well hooped. It's getting to the end of the life of the chain. And it's just too much work. So this cedar will work just fine. Uh, I don't know if I said it already. I know I repeat myself. And I really don't care. Okay? Yeah? Hey? This, the people that bought the nice little no painted gnome I did, like Lance does paint, water paint, base paint. They bought that gnome and another owl piece, a nice family. So they want to, like a, I did, had an owl, the nuke, a root piece flower potter thing with the wood spirit on the bottom of it. But they want an owl and a wood spirit for the front of their yard. And they're super nice family. I, I went to high school with the husband, um, three kids, beautiful wife. So I just said I'd, I'd do these for them. I'm getting paid for them, but I'm giving them a good deal. So I wanted to go get that cedar from the beach from them because that's better than this cedar, but I think this cedar will be just fine. Anyways, I guess you guys aren't too interested in me, um, in too interested in watching me drinking coffee. But yeah, so here's, a, here's the first carving fusion sticker. Then here's the one that Bat made. And here's the one that I made, and I don't have room for the one that you made, Dibs. And I gotta... Today was just get lost shirt day, Dibs. I gotta wear your new shirt, your new logo. I got some of them in. I'll wear that on the next uh, video. But I, it's perfect day for this get lost shirt. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so this owl... Its head's gonna be... I kind of always have a the way I always do it its head's going to be over here like over on this side of the log and then his body's going to go down like this and then his wing will be right here kind of 
I never do it the opposite way. I always do it kind of the same way, I guess. But uh, there's some birds fighting there or mating or whatever they're doing. Anyways, carry on. Okay, so I'll try and film this so you guys can see. So um, I'll just put a line here. I don't know why I did that, but so the head can be over here. Push the head over as far as we can. I'm going inside that uh, the sapwood, so I'm going to the hardwood. I can see the line right here, extends here. So head. And then slope it down this way. This pins. Make this guy kind of fat. And then his talons down here. And then. I'm going to try this owl a little bit different this time. I'm gonna slope the head back. I'm gonna slope the head down first. You know, it's good to practice trying new things on every one, because that's how you'll get better. So, the head, then it's gonna be cut down here like this, then like this, and there'll be a towel in there, and then the wing can come down here. Sometimes my owls have tails, sometimes they don't. So, I'll get the saw cut, fired up, and start cutting. I mean, I haven't finished drinking my coffee yet though, so stand by, please. So I don't, I don't know if my microphone's working or not right now, because I'm listening to my uh, music. I got my earbuds in, I'm listening to uh, Pussifier. Pussifer. The remixed one, I love it. Oh my god! 
a bit. So you can see I got it all blocked out now. There's still some of that um, water wood in there, the sap wood. Um, I'm going to start using this still MSA 140C battery saw with the 8 inch cannon bar on here. Got more control with the shorter bar. Um, these, I've been asked a few times, these battery saws, when you're done carving, well, first of all, some people ask me what oil that I use. What oil do I use for my bars? I use kind of whatever kind of oil I can get, <laughs> whatever kind of oil I have. So today is uh, carnola oil. Um, I kind of use carnola oil for these this battery saw because it doesn't spin quite as fast as the gas saw. So it's you're not gonna you're not gonna overheat your bar really. With these battery the tip of your bar with these battery saws maybe you can but um keep these airflow things clean you know blow them out or do whatever you got to do to keep these clean um, when you're done carving for the day if you put your saws inside your house um it's best to leave the uh empty the oil because these do leak well, i think lots of battery saws do leak the oil they do use lots of oil, so it's good to always check your oil. There's some bald eagles flying around up there, so I'm gonna. I got one more cut to do with my gas saw. For this eagle head here, for, not eagle owl. I want to. I've never see. I've always. Um, let's see here. See, I've always done a center line and done a swoosh cut. 
down for like uh, I've gone like this like your center lines here then I've always done these cuts but what I'm gonna do today to practice is I'm gonna does that make sense I was gonna slope this whole head back first but I don't think I should do that because I don't know if that makes sense or not so like I'd get here here and then slope this head back this way but like that do a cut boom. but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I this is a commissioned piece so I don't want to practice on the commission piece so let me see I just got to make sure this is center sorry so here's your center line so So I got a mark here and a mark here. And we'll go down to about here. So I'm gonna go like this. With the bar, you'll see I'll, I'll film. I'm gonna go like this and, and swoop it in, swoop it, swoop it out, okay? And same with this, I'll go to the side and then swoop it out. Then, the top part here, then I'm gonna go do a little cut here on an angle. I'll use the gas saw for that. overhead so there's that can you see there's that cut that I did there and those swoosh cuts not swoosh cuts but I don't know whatever cuts you want to call them okay so that's how you get so you make your beak pop off right so where do you uh, I'm gonna give you guys a full visual here and this is a Jordy does video I don't care so back of the head over here I do a center line because I want my wings to match up so owls are fantasy you can curve you can be a realistic carver or whatever you want to be you can do whatever you want to do you can make your wing come all the way over here you can make your wing come back here let me see here here's our center line you can bring this chest back a little bit more if you want to so I'm gonna bring the wing say half right here There, that's good. Then come down like this. Now, this is a fat owl. So, see, because now I gotta carve textures in here. So, his wing will come down here and down like that. So I still have to cut more of this wood away to get the wing to extend down here. This guy won't have a tail, I don't think. You know, they have a bump right here. You can do that. And your center line. Center lines are so um, helpful when you're working on, I don't know, anything, I guess. Your beak here. This pen's dying, so let's do, let's work on this wing right now. Um, so I'll cut on this, I'll cut true to the line here, all the way down here. I'll remove some of this wood to get the wing to stick off. Be careful because your beak's going to be here. You don't want to remove too much of that wood. 
and I gotta cut here, deep here, and remove lots of this wood. Where's the battery saw? So there's no sense me kneeling, right? That's why I got this left. So just jack her up. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this, uh, just stand by, let me draw the wing on the back too. Mic check. Beautiful day, beautiful day. So, so far, I'm a lot happier. I'm, ha I'm pretty happy with this owl. This is the thickest owl that I've done so far. Usually they're pretty thin, because I try and give them more movement like this way, but this is just a fat owl sitting, sitting on it will be a pile of rocks down here. So, center line again. I found a better pen. Let's give you a bigger, Thing here. So where do you want his beak? So that's center. So I go like this. Now I did kind of make a mistake by doing this cut here. I shouldn't have done that cut. It should be more solid here. But it's okay. Then we'll go like this. I try and watch this side when I'm doing this side. And I made that same cut there that I shouldn't have made. It should be solid here, so you can extend this back a bit more. But it's all right. It will all work out in the end. Because you just try harder. So, that's that. Then we'll do this here. So I'm going to cut on these lines here. Be careful when you get to around the beak. Okay, I'm going to cut on these lines. And I'm going to remove the wood inside here and then go like this too. If you guys are still watching, you just kind of watch what I'm what I'm up to. So I'm going to cut here on this line, remove the wood in the eye here. Same on this side. Then I'm going to cut on this line and remove the wood below here. Then I'll come up here and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this top here. But I will say, I'm gonna remove the wood in here to make these thing things pop out. Okay, and your wings. Here's your top thing. Bottom, second top thing. Third top thing. And then your wings here. Caprende, caprende.
about that beak. I always, I always look inside here to see my bar when it gets inside this crack and you just watch the tip of it. Okay, I'll be Just keep an eye on that beak. It's a tender area. Okay, now remove this wood, make this pop out. Same on the other side. Okay. Now, I'm gonna start scooping in these eyes with not this, not the top part of the bar. That's how you can get kickback with this quarter, with this part of the bar right down here. And just do it nice and slow and just scoop, scooping it in, making it dished in. Always remembering to watch that beak. to the other side. I'll finish that off with the, uh, this wood seems pretty dry in here now, dry enough to use the die grinder so I should be able to finish this owl today. Hi Chris out there in England, how you doing? Get your saw yet? Your battery saw? Okay so I'm gonna cut in these wings now. So So they need to be undercut like fist scales. This one should overlap this one. And for this part, I just kind of go, everybody has their own ways, right? I just kind of go like this, try and do like, um, let's see if you guys can kind of do like this crisscrosses quickly. Not crisscrosses, but like. These ones, just kind of, I'm going to do quick, quick cuts here.
are back with that one. Go back there and fix them. Just like that. And I guess I'll texture the chest hairs. I don't know, there's so many, so many different artists do it different ways. I just kind of do it quickly, it just really doesn't matter. Anymore. So you can see here, I started off doing deeper cuts, and I said, screw it. And I just went with the smaller stuff. There's texture, so I'll get all this texturing done, the other wing on the back done. I'll be back. Okay, so I got all the texturing done. Uh, this might be the best towel I've done so far, because it's, it's bigger. So, but I'm sure I'll still screw it up. I got all the stuff done. I haven't done the talons yet. There's the back of it done. I don't spend too much time on the back because nobody really looks at the back of the owl. So now I got to cut in this part. So I cut, I cut, and I remove the wood in here. But first of all, I need to go for a, I got to go to the house bathroom break, not just a quick outdoor bathroom break come back and we'll do those cuts and we'll move, remove some of the wood in here give them a, a round kind of head and do some textures in there cut the beak in I don't think I am gonna finish this today I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit because I burn when you let your wood dry out for a, a day or two just let the outside you can see here it's a little bit wet it will be dry in a day or two burn it you'll save yourself on gas it will burn a lot easier right so I want to start carving a wood spirit. They're the fun things for me to carve. Okay, so party time's over. So now I got some power tools out here. Um, I'm going to cut this in now. Cut, cut, remove some wood in here. Cut the beak. Then just be careful. This wider grain seems to chip a lot easier. So you got to be careful with that beak. And um, let's put the camera on the tripod and get this cuts down. I might do a time lapse when I'm doing the detail in the. Um, I got the actually. You know what? This is a Jordy. This is a Jordy uh, does video. So let's not rush it. part where I'm like this I think I got to be careful because if it kicks back look out so just take uh, precautions and um, try and do everything the safe you can because chainsaws will cut your head off in a friendly way like I say that in a nice way So now I'm gonna, this is what Ryan Cook taught me. I'm gonna use the bar and I'm gonna come down like this.
So I'm gonna slope this back just a little bit more. Very good. So I'm gonna do a little cut for this beak. Let's uh, give you a, just carve Rob's side view. If you look at, I carved this guy a tail. If you look at the tail, look how far the tail hangs down. Like the tail should be, it's just an eensy weensy little tail. It should be like bigger. I don't care. You think someone, somebody that's gonna, well, the person that, that that's buying this carving is gonna be like, what's wrong? What's up with the tail? I'll be like, I don't know. It's got a fantasy tail. Okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse. I might as well show you guys what tools I'm using. I'm going to start it off with the, the die grinder David Grass High Grass. If you watch this, Mr. Gr Kicking Ass Grass, the 800. This is the GD 800, it's upside down. GD0800C with the cut saw quarter inch, the silver burr, the original. Then I'm going to clean that off. Then I'm going to use this Mampa eyeball, cut, uh, eyeball thing. You're going to see it burn. Then I might use this little cheap Chinese cutter. Or I'll use this cut saw on a Dremel 40. These are both Dremel 4300s. And here's my flap sander with a ready rod, just a belt sandpaper and a couple nuts on the back side and a locking nut on the front side. I think I got that covered. Okay. Okay, so the silly, silly little hooter is pretty well done. I'm super happy with like uh, how thick it came out. You, I know you guys can't see that well, but it's the thickest eagle uh, owl that I've done. I just got some black paint and kind of gave him some rings around here. So I'm happy with it. It's I think it's it's an improvement. Lots of stuff I need to improve on, but you know it's it's. I accomplished what I aimed for. I aimed for a bigger owl, a thicker owl, and there's a thicker owl. Um, like, let's see here. I think I got my other one back here for Phil. He hasn't picked it up yet. But here it is. There's there's a thinner owl. Eventually, I want to start making the, the eye things a little bit different. The more you do, the the more you're going to learn and you're going to be able to adjust things, right? So, um, I, can, I can't wait to get the slabs to finally make these the tables that I've I carved. There's your wizard, Robin, just hiding away nicely in the shade. Here's the first chainsaw that I started carving with. It's a uh, old Husqvarna. I gave it to Scott that lived in the house. To use for firewood but it just stopped running on them so but i don't i don't want to fix it i don't want to try and get it running so i'll probably just give it away anyways now i always cut my rocks here's the thing here's the thing i only have enough gas for my gas chainsaw to either do a wood spirit or cut these rocks so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do just uh 
I'm going to make these rocks look like they're slate. So I'm going to use my battery saw and just cut lines on them, burn it, and then sand it, and then call it done. Okay, all the way around. So I'll just be using the... Anyways, just how about I get this done so I can move on to the wood spirit. <laughs> All right, all right, we caught, just caught the, uh, we just finished when the sun got here. So that's good. So now do I want to carve this wood spirit out here in the sun or do I want to carve it in the tent? I think it's, uh, since we've had such a long winter, I think it's healthy to stay out in the sun, turn your hat backwards and, uh, Get some sun on this pale white skin, I guess. Yeah, I'm happy about how, how wider and thicker this owl turned out. Because usually, um, I cut it right here so there's the body doesn't, you don't see the body right down here. I cut, it, I cut all this away. Anyways, I already unscrewed it. Oh, it's a lot lighter now too, since all that water wood is, uh, that sap wood's gone. So there it is. Yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not like a professionally carved owl, but trying new things helps you uh, get better. Now I gotta get this. Yeah, so this wood, the sap wood is so, uh, so wet. I'm gonna carve the wood spirit. I can already see there's cracks right here. Lots, this has been weathered. So you'll see there's lots of cracks here. See the cracks? So boom, boom. So where's my pen? Oh boy. So these are the main cracks right here. I think this one's kind of coming out this way. But I'm going to carve the wood spirit face right here. Sorry about the shadows. And it's not going to be nothing special, it's going to be a wood spirit. Okay, so three, two, one. That's heavy. Put the center, center of the board. Right there, very good. Jack her up. Then uh, I got new screws. I throw away those deck screws every time I use them. I'm terrible at, at stripping those screws. But those... Yeah, I got two brand new deck screws in my pocket. This on camera. Okay. I did just up higher so I can get under there and screw it in. I think the trick with these screws is run your drill slower but more power and push harder. Harder. Whew. So with this owl when it's sitting in the sun, I don't know, this is just something I do. You know, the sun's beaming down this way right now. It's like the sun's right up there. So I turn it around, let the sun hit the back of the owl, hopefully. It will heat up the back of the owl and crack on the back. That's it. Just like that. 
Let the sun hit it here. Now, wood spirit time, huh? I'm gonna carve all this sapwood away for this wood spirit with the gas saw. I probably will end up running the battery saw for lots of it. So, here's our center line. Um, forehead. So what I want to do is cut, I'm going to cut here, probably about that deep in there, and then remove all this wood. And you'll see that that's a good way to remove all the sap wood because it's soaking wet. So I'm going to fill up my uh, chainsaw with gas and oil, lower this, and cut it out. Stand by. Okay. So it's lower on the um, screen. It's hard to see the screen when it's sunny like this too. I'm gonna put my earbuds back in, listen to music and do this so, man, I gotta put my chops back on too. Shit. You know what everybody, I think I'm going to call it a day. I got to go to back to work pretty soon this weekend I think, or next weekend. Got to save my energy. I got the owl done, that's good enough. And uh, turn it around, let the sun hit the back like I said. I'm going to clean up all my tools, put my stuff away, I got to rake up all this sawdust here. And um, I got to put this tray away. So yeah. Have fun everybody, just be safe, you know, like your chaps. Put them on, if you think, you know, because the, the one time where you're like, oh, I only got two cuts to do, that's the one time you'll probably hit your leg or hit something. So, I don't know, I'm just looking down here because I've seen a weird car pull in but then pull out. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing good. And um, if you're carving outside, just enjoy it. Enjoy the day. 
I got to go home and work on my uh, flower, my blueberry plant garden wood beds. Got to figure out if I'm going to use pressure treated wood or... Anyways, I'm just babbling, talking about nothing. But so that... Don't chip over your chainsaws. Talk to you all soon. And uh, man, I hate how this microphone... I'm going to have to get something, maybe to hang this microphone or something. You know, it has to clip onto your shirt. They come with magnets, but I lost both magnets. Anyways, we'll talk to you all soon. There's another episode of Jordy Does. Okay, bye.